Water, the, mo the second most vital element needed for life. So the number one vital element needed for life is oxygen. And that, that's not a surprise, is it? The second most vital element needed for life is water. You can go three minutes without oxygen. You can go a couple of weeks without water. I always thought it was three days without water until I read, uh, I read a book called The Long Walk about some people who were escaping the Siberian work camp and they were in the desert and they went nearly two weeks without water. Water is the second most vital element needed for life. In fact, where there's no water, you don't usually get people living, do you? I always say to people, how much water do you drink? And these are some of the answers. Uh, I don't like water. Um, if I drink water, my feet swell. If I drink water, I'm going to the bathroom all day. Those last two answers tell me that the water's not getting inside the cell. So how do we get the water inside the cell? We have to go to the third most vital element needed for life, and that is sodium. The fourth most vital element needed for life is potassium. So let's go back to sodium. In nature, we find the highest amount of sodium in seawater. And seawater contains 92 minerals. Of those 92 minerals, 30%, approximately 30% is sodium. And of those 92 minerals, approximately 50% is chloride. Now, because sodium chloride take up the most amount, they're the first crystals formed when the water is evaporated. So what man does is he scoops up the first crystals formed, he bleaches them white, puts aluminium with it so that it runs freely, and there's your table salt. Table salt is a dangerous, is a dangerous salt because we now have two very harsh minerals that if you were in to inject both of those into the blood, you would die. There's two harsh minerals and they need all the other 90 to soften them and balance them. The highest concentration of mineral inside the cell is potassium. The highest concentration outside the cell is sodium. And in this bilayered membrane that is around every cell, there are sodium-potassium pumps. And these sodium-potassium pumps are ever going like this, maintaining the balance between potassium and sodium. But when someone's not eating enough fruits and vegetables, and that's where you get most of your potassium, and they're putting table salt on everything far too much, what happens now is sodium levels rise.